intentions of the heart. Eve literally was told by the devil, here is the fruit, ate the fruit. Said, okay, no problem. Realized she was naked and walked straight to Adam and say, it. <laughs> Never told Adam, I have new information. We are naked. Now I'm naked. Never. She knew she was naked. Eat. When Adam ate, he said, hey. If you also said, yes, yes. <laughs> we are naked. <laughs> you play around with women. So never think you are the safe one because you are a man. As long as the heart has impurities, you are both dead. Anyone can cheat. Men can cheat. Women can cheat. Who cheats more than the other? If it's women, who are they cheating with? Because if they are cheating with men, then we have a problem. Statistics. Women. Men lie, women lie. Numbers don't lie. Why is it the hearts of women can be corrupt more than the hearts of men when it comes to infidelity? Because women have the ability to, to lie. It's seen in the... Men, if they cheat, they can't lie. They will lie. But their lie is not really... You saw the story that happened, was it three, four years ago, when they wrote in the papers? Of course, that paper... Sorry, but I will not mention the name now. A man was caught naked, wearing protection, naked, by the, man, the woman's husband. Here. It was in the paper here in Arari here. Ran home and told the wife, what, what happened? Robbers. <laughs> the wife says, so the same robber is the one who gave you protection here. <laughs> they beat you and they, ah. <laughs> Men can lie. After lying, it doesn't make sense, the thing they <laughs> Where were you? I was with my mother. Where in Chitungwiza? Oh, okay. But, but mom died two years ago. <laughs> and the guy has already said something. You know, men just throw the thing. All of men lie, women lie, but women's lies are complicated. They have alibis. God help us. You see? But lies, everyone lies. Why? Intentions. They, they think I can protect myself. If I say this, I'm protecting myself. See, the issue is not that you have impurity because you are the devil. Intentions. Why you need this? Some of you tithe because you are afraid to go to hell if you don't tithe. When we say offering time, most of you will run here. Fear. If I don't give offering, see, heaven, I will not make heaven. So you're doing it for heaven's sake. There is no ability in you to stay straight. But imagine if you remove the impurities of the heart. If you just remove the impurities of the heart. We were in 2 Peter. I believe it's 2 Peter 1, 5. I think so. I believe so. Are you seeing this now? The Bible, if you read it closely, says, faith overcomes everything, son. Faith what? Overcomes everything. But now it says, giving diligence, earnest work. Giving diligence, aid to your faith, virtue, character. This is important. This is important. Now, you think faith was enough. With faith, you can get anything. But the Bible says it's a lie. It says the same faith, you need to spice it up with virtue, with character. Prune, page your heart. So this whole room can be full of people who can give you $1 million in a minute. In a business deal, you enter in there. Guess what? When you get in there, guess what happens? Everyone goes like, yes, man, we, we, we are willing to give you two million, uh, five million. I uh, will give you one million today and then two million next week. Then they get a, a message. Uh, this is the, one, the person you are with now. Hey! They say, so, sorry, we wanted to do it, but we have 
information to believe that you are the same person who was involved in this and this and we can't do it anymore. What has happened? Virtue has closed in the purpose and the power of faith. So your character has prevented the two million from coming. Yet you had enough faith to gather people with the two million and they're in the room, cash is there. But character has stopped them from handing it over to you. And that's what many of you are like. This is be as wise as a serpent and as be, be, be peaceful as a dove. What does it mean? To enter locations of tight situations, to enter, to enter like this. What do you need? Huh? <laughs> you need to be like a snake. But when you enter, don't stay a snake. Be a dove when you enter. Some of you are snakes entering, snakes staying. <laughs> and they'll cut your head when you are in there. Learn how to enter places. You don't enter like this. People will think you're useless when you arrive. Uh, Tony, take my keys. Ah, someone is like, hey, he has keys. They might be off a wonder feet. Don't worry. Just give them, pass them, and take my keys. They don't know what car you have brought. Snake. When you enter now, chill. They will give you the deal. Stay there. Relax. Be peaceful. Most of you are dangerous. Evil snakes. You don't know when to become a snake, when to become a dove. You don't know. You're just playing the whole, all the cards. Even this girlfriend you are trying to woo, she's also, she has also ambitions. Now you enter there as a snake. You stay there as a snake. Five years you've been dating the same girl. Five years. When is the marriage? I'm looking for money. If it can take five years for you to look for money, you are not the right candidate. Men and women of God here. And young men that will be pastors and leaders. It is of importance that you understand that God lives in the heart. So impurities in the heart disturb the presence of God. We need to get to a level where we understand that it's very, very important to curb the desires of the flesh. Are you still hearing me? Are you still hearing me? Proverbs 51.10, I just want you to read some few things. Proverbs 51.10, quickly. Are you there? Are you there? Let me tell you something. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Create a new heart. Hear me well. This is my last portion for this part one. I age everyone here with your hands raised. I age everyone here to take a solemn pact with God that I page the intentions of the heart. Why do I go to church? Why am I in this church? Why am I a Christian? Why am I thinking these things? Why do I need this? The intentions of the heart. You have a very, very bad, very bad test for success that you can do anything. You can kill. You can destroy. The reason why you are a Christian is because you think Jesus will help you with your money issues. This is the problem. But do you love him? Do you know what he did for you? Ah, oh, I don't understand the salvation issue. Yes, you don't understand it because you never investigated salvation. You never investigated the, the scope of the human condition. And say, okay, this is the one who created us and he thinks we are like this. So now I need to shift. And don't run, don't run, don't run. I know you. Because you're thinking the prophet will come just exposing everyone. Now, I look at things like this in this way. When you see me expose you, there will be an intention in you to try to deceive me. But the main thing is, you'll be thinking I don't see. 
So I would try by all means to prove I see by going to the hidden things. And mainly the things you hide are evil things. This is where the problem is. If you hide good things, I will bring them up for you. But if you hide bad things and you don't believe I'm a prophet. We had um, our, doc, our, um, our builder, one of our contractors called Russell. He's, he's here somewhere. Now, listen, Russell, what he did was he sent some people to the pillar of fire, all right, to paint it. And these guys didn't believe I was a prophet. They're just part of the building team. So they are discussing how this thing is all falls and stuff like that. They get to the pillar of fire. They want to paint an electric shock enters them. All of them are hit by an unseen force of electricity. <laughs> Guess what? The two of them never told anyone. Now Russell goes to them to try and explain to them that, look, since you are painting, they just be respectful. Even if you don't believe it, just respect. They said, hey, wait. <laughs> we know we didn't believe this thing. But are the wires of the electricity disconnected? <laughs> they said, where? <laughs> At the pillar of fire. There is no electricity. Yeah. They started wearing gloves, eh? Gloves. They are putting on gloves. To insulate themselves from whatever they thought was hitting them. Until he said, this is what I have been trying to explain to you. He said, no, 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 no. It's not just the pillar of fire. Even the house we were in, electricity. Yeah. 